If you've ever looked out an airplane window and wondered why the ground slowly disappears beneath a thick blanket of white clouds, you're not alone. One minute you're watching cities shrink into tiny grids, and the next, everything below turns into what looks like an endless ocean of cotton. It almost feels intentional, like planes are trying to escape Earth for a while. But that raises a surprisingly simple question. Why do planes actually fly above the clouds? Is it just for the view, or is there something more practical happening at 35,000 feet? As it turns out, those fluffy clouds are only part of the story. Today, let's uncover the fascinating reasons why aircraft choose to soar above the clouds instead of flying through them, right here on History of Simple Things. The biggest reason planes fly high above the clouds comes down to one invisible thing, air density. The higher you go in the atmosphere, the thinner the air becomes. While that might sound like a disadvantage, it's actually a huge benefit for airplanes. Thinner air creates less resistance, meaning planes don't have to fight as hard to move forward. Less drag allows aircraft to fly faster while burning less fuel which saves money for airlines and reduces overall strain on the engines. At lower altitudes, where clouds usually form, the air is thicker and more chaotic, forcing planes to work harder just to maintain speed and stability. Flying higher is simply more efficient, smoother and smarter from an engineering standpoint. Clouds may look soft and peaceful from a distance, but they're often a visual warning sign of unstable air. Most clouds form because warm, moist air is rising and colliding with cooler air, creating constant motion inside the cloud itself. That movement is what causes turbulence. By flying above the clouds, planes avoid most of the vertical air currents that make flights bumpy. While turbulence can still happen at high altitudes, it's generally weaker and more predictable than the kind found inside cloud layers. Pilots aren't chasing clouds for drama. They're actively avoiding the rough air hidden inside them to give passengers a smoother ride. Another major reason planes climb above the clouds is to escape weather altogether. Rain, snow, hail, thunderstorms, and icing conditions all live where clouds form, typically in the lower parts of the atmosphere. Flying above them allows aircraft to stay clear of dangerous weather systems that could damage the plane or reduce visibility. Ice buildup on wings, for example, is far less likely at cruising altitude, where the air is colder but drier. Thunderstorms, which can stretch vertically for kilometers, are especially dangerous, and pilots carefully navigate around them or above smaller cloud layers whenever possible. In many ways, cruising above the clouds is like taking a highway overpass instead of driving through a flooded street. High-altitude air isn't just thinner, it's colder. And surprisingly, jet engines perform better in colder conditions. Cold air is denser than warm air at the same pressure, which allows engines to generate thrust more efficiently. This improved performance helps planes maintain speed with less fuel consumption. That's why most commercial jets cruise at altitudes between 9,000 and 12,000 meters, where temperatures can drop to negative 50 degrees Celsius. While passengers stay warm inside the pressurized cabin, the engines benefit from the cold, clean environment outside. It's a carefully balanced system designed to maximize performance without sacrificing safety or comfort. Flying above the clouds also helps keep air travel organized. At cruising altitude, planes follow structured flight levels, essentially invisible highways in the sky. 
Different altitudes are assigned based on direction and distance to prevent collisions and manage traffic efficiently. Staying high above weather and clouds allows pilots to maintain these steady levels without constant altitude changes. If planes stayed lower, they'd be forced to climb, descend, and reroute far more often, creating congestion and increasing the risk of delays. Flying above the clouds keeps the system predictable, orderly, and surprisingly calm for something moving at nearly 900 kilometers per hour. While safety and efficiency come first, passenger comfort plays a role too. Fewer clouds mean fewer bumps, less noise from wind resistance, and a more consistent cabin experience. Smooth air reduces stress on the aircraft structure and makes long flights feel less exhausting. That peaceful moment when the plane breaks through the cloud layer and suddenly everything becomes bright and calm isn't accidental. It's a sign that the aircraft has reached its ideal cruising environment. Even the famous cloud top views are just a bonus side effect of flying where conditions are most stable. Not every flight climbs high enough to stay above the clouds. Short routes and smaller aircraft often fly lower, where going higher wouldn't make sense. In those moments, pilots depend almost entirely on instruments, guided by radar and air traffic control, rather than what they can see outside. It's a quiet reminder that even when the sky disappears, Modern aviation is designed to keep flights steady, controlled, and safe. So planes don't fly above the clouds because they're avoiding the Earth or chasing scenic views. They do it because higher altitudes offer thinner air, smoother rides, safer weather conditions, better engine performance, and a more organized sky. What looks like a simple choice from your window seat is actually the result of decades of aviation science and careful planning. The next time you're gazing down at that endless sea of white, you'll know that above the clouds isn't just beautiful, it's exactly where planes are meant to be. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.